What's up, YouTube? Welcome to part four of our M21 limited testing meeting. My name is Lord Tupperware. I'm joined by Mr. Metronome and Quarter Calls from the Limited Level Ups podcast. We're diving into reds, commons, and uncommons here, starting with just, they're just all so good. Don't make me choose, you know? Okay. <laughs> Scorching Dragon, Fire Shock, Spellgorge are weird. I mean, we can talk about, mod I mean, it's Scorching Dragon, Fire is top of the heap here. Yeah, I think I think the first pile goes Dragon Fire Shock weird in that order. Okay, Alex, any rebuttal there? No, I'm I'm on the the Shock over weird train too. I yeah. I think that weird is good. Weird is definitely good. Like it's not too much lower than these removal spells, but you know there are times when it's just not that good in your deck, or you play on turn three on the draw and it's it's awkward. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I think you take Wizardry next. I've been taking crash through. Yeah, I went up to I was reading yeah. Alex's article and he's got crash through here number three ish, four ish. Yeah, I, I'm I'm, low, I'm a little bit lower on it than I was before, and like I didn't have shock in that in the top three before. Um, but I like crash through a lot because it's like you want as many copies as you can in your red blue decks, and then in like it just randomly triggers your like whatever incidental draw things you have that cross over in green and blue with red. And it's just a glue for a lot of decks. And it tramples over your, like, your mutts. Uh, it tramples, oh, sorry, not your mutts. Your, uh, your igneous curves tramples over, like, your high power red creatures or high power creatures in, in your other colors. I've, I've really liked Crash Through, just as glue. Yeah. So uh, perhaps I'm stuck in the past here, but I, I, just because of how I'm valuing two drops, and I, I appreciated Ben's argument for me that, like, Magmut is not that much better than Kerr or Hobblefiend, and the game doesn't often become about, like, you know, the board stabilizes and then you're pinging in for damage. But right. I, I, it's, it's a hard sell for me. Like, I recognize that Wizardry is a deck, but two drops are just so good. Am I wrong? Like, it, this, this just feels... I, I'm, like, you want to take Wizardry over Mutt? I don't. It? I want to take Mutt over Wizardry, but, sorry, but, yeah, but sorry, Ben, ben um, wants to take Wizardry higher, and I imagine you do too, Alex. Yeah, I, I do too, because I think exactly what the point you were saying was that I think that while Mutt is good and is certainly better than the other two drops, it's not so much better. Mm -hmm. where, where Wizardry is like so much better when when it gets there. Okay. Do we feel okay about this as the second column, or yeah, does this just I, not matter? I, I think, I also think that, you know, now with some perspective, like I, you could certainly take Wizardry over Crash Through. I, I don't know where Ben feels... Uh, how Ben feels about that, but I, I would take Wizard Driver Crash Through myself yet, but you make a compelling argument for Crash Through. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not super excited about Crash Through in red white. It's insane in blue red. I'm not super excited about it in red black. And I think its next best home is probably red green. Yeah, because you get some red. incidental draw two stuff when you're in red green. The, the thing is, the thing is too, like. I've been putting like the crash through wizardry burn bright combo in just red decks. Like it doesn't have to be red blue mm -hmm. all the time, right? That seems dangerous to me. I mean, are you getting that many copies of the things? Like, yeah, it's so like, for me to feel like I have that package, I would want a minimum of three wizardries, and I think wizardry is good enough that you've got to pick it over crash through to get three wizardries. Uh, I mean, some drafts, right? Some pods don't. I guess maybe some pods just haven't calibrated just yet, and like I'm these cards, like Wizardry's just wheeling at this point. Like I think I think Wizardry is a card that the world has not 100% caught on to yet. So maybe in a week's time, yeah, that that will be true. I think I agree with you that the world. I mean, I think I'm probably part of the problem as someone who thinks Magma <laughs> is better than Wizardry, but like I, yeah, I'm, that that this card is not the card. I don't think is certainly being taken as highly as it is listed in this iteration. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so beyond these six, what's, what's up next? The, the, the twos? the twos? Yeah, the twos. Kerr above Hobble Fiend, I believe. Um, I think Thrill right. also goes in that column. I think yeah, I agree. Thrill, I think Pitchburn is next. I don't love Pitchburn, but I think it's good. Like, it's, it's, it's decent. It's, it's a C plus. It just suffers from the five drop problem. Like, it's, yeah, it's better yeah. than Turn to Slag. And it, it, it is. The it thing, of, the time thing time about Pitchburn Devils that's really cool, I think, is that it plays. It's really good on offense and really good on defense. Right, exactly. That that is that is really nice, um, and that can't be said for a lot of cards in this set. Right, and then 
I don't feel super strong about any of these others. Probably Turn to Slag and Burn Bright. I think Sure Strike is ahead of Burn Bright for me. I think Sure Strike's also ahead of Pitch Burn Devils for me. Yes, Interesting. Do so you guys want Sure Strike here? Or do you want to... I think we probably do this. Uh, I'm thinking yeah. Sure Strike ahead of Thrill also, I think. Oh, I am not. That does not seem correct to me. Tricks are just very, very good in this format, and Sure Strike is one of the better ones, even though it's two mana. Like... I agree, but I don't. I think for what Red generally wants to be doing, Thrill is better than Sure Strike. Like I guess outside of outside of Red White. So I think I would I would argue that Sure Strike is better in Red Green, Red Black, and Red White. Yeah, I think they're like comparable in Red Black. But I agree then red green and red white and all right yeah, maybe not red blue but so then we're back to this turn to slag burn bright you know ra random four power creatures what where's fear of the bitten at for you guys I have not uh, I, I have not cast this card yet I I don't love it I like it though um it kind of you know it's the same way to augment your creature like dub um. What, it it turns on your your what's it called the tyranidons pretty early. Uh, you can back that up with like Ranger's Guile. Um, it's 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 not a high pick at all, and like I'm not even like ooh I wield Fear a lot of the time, but it does make it into my it does make it into my deck percentage of the time. So I would put it in that bottom tier, but it's not like a, a horrendous card. Yeah. Uh, destructive tampering as a falter. And a sideboard card? Or, it's, or just a falter? A yeah, I think it's a sideboard card because I think you're racing enough in this format that it doesn't matter, right? Like, may, maybe you can sneak out a win a percentage of the time that you wouldn't be able to, but it's not like a bunch of decks are turtling up against you, right? Mm -hmm. It's, you're, you're, like, all, such a large percentage of the decks are just incentivized to be attacking and racing that creatures are just turning sideways enough that, you know, it's it's not going to... It's going to say one creature can't block a lot of the time, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not going to say like your your opponent's team can't block, which is the, is the main purpose for this type of card. And then I think these two creatures are like the definition of filler. Um, a note about Goblin Arsonist: this is a, I think a better defensive card than it is an aggressive card because it has the opportunity to like trade with an X two, which is half the creatures, and then can randomly just hose two X ones. Um, I have played this card more than I thought, but generally more in, in a, like a, a red blue tutelage deck or something when I just feel like I need some cheap blockers. And then this is, you know, if you need a six drop, here it is. Yeah, card, card is Arsonist. It's again, the Arsonist. I mean, the main place I want to play Arsonist is with Alchemist Gift, but yeah, it's right. Fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, we feel good about this order here. Yeah, I think so. All right, taking a look at red. Oh, oh go ahead. Nothing. I was just going to say I'm going to be such a good grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, taking a look at Red's Uncommons here. Uh, quite a few good ones. Not that one. Where is it? Immolator, uh, Soul Seer, and Jester. Probably top three. Um, I'm taking Immolator as number one. Agree. Yeah, Red's. I think I think like a lot of the top uncommons are just variations of great two drop. <laughs> yeah, I think it's true. Yeah, Emulator is is certainly up there. Yeah, and I think Soul Seer same category for me. I got I don't know like B, this is a B plus, this is a B whatever. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Um, what else is in contention beyond Jester? I guess Augur could Battle be there. Bolt Hound. Battle Rattle, Bolt Hound. I th yeah. So Bolt Hound is impressive in Red White specifically. Um, I agree. Yeah, I, I really like this card. I, I would put yeah, Bolt so Hound above Jester, probably. I, yeah, I, I, I definitely also. put above Jester. You guys think um, Bolt Hound is number three? Yes. I think I could, I could buy Kinetic Augur, but I think Bolt Hound. It's, t it's tough. Like, in pods where they let you get a good blue red deck, Connect Augur, I believe, is just going to be better than Bolt Hound. Or mm -hmm. it doesn't even have to be like a, a great blue red deck. Just like, you know, the the decent red cards are, are getting past you. I think Connect Augur is a more powerful card. 
but I think that Bulltown just plays well with the set as a whole better, right? You're going to get a better Bulltown deck more often than you're going to get a better Kinetic Augur deck. I agree. I agree with that. I think Kinetic also suffers from the fact that like there's a million good blue and red uncommons at 4 CMC+, plus, and Kinetic Augur is the weakest of those. Agreed. Yeah, agree. yeah that makes sense to me. Uh, Havoc Jester, it's mostly just that a 5 mana 5-5 five, five is huge. Suffers from the 5-drop problem, but I think that it's also not hard to get some little sacrifice synergies where this uh, deals the damage, you know, like the Heartfire Emulator will trigger it, etc. Um, so I think... I think I'm taking Jester over these two. Um, I would yeah. take Battle Rattle Shaman over it, I think. Yeah, I was going to say, I think Battle Rattle's above that. But Okay. In the same, see. do you think, Ch J am I just too high on Jester? The thing with Jester is it's it's giant, right? Like, 5-5 yeah. five five is so big in this format. It, it breaks everything. It hacks for everything. Just how often are you getting this trigger? Like, there's just so few ways to sacrifice right. things I've, I found. That's, that's true. So that, or do you want to take Geyser over it? Uh, I am, I am very anti Geyser in general. Uh, I, I don't think the card is that great, so I, I would take Havoc Jester. Okay. I agree. I'm also pretty low on Geyser. Low on Geyser in turn as a what kind of grade are you giving it? It's like a C plus. Yeah. C okay. C plus. Yeah, C plus is where I'm at with it too. I, I'm and like. Jester is sort of in the B minus ish range, just because it's huge and you know you'll get a ping off of it once in a while. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the rest. I think greed is the next best, and yes. red sanctum goes in yeah. the same category. Just in terms of its upside. Yeah. Okay. And then everything else is then furious rise, and then everything else, and then everything I else. Think, I think Pyrling gets a note because there again, it's like one of those cards where it's not great on average but when you have a good pyroling deck it's very powerful it's good with magmuts yeah it's good with magmuts it it does do like the combo kill kind of thing that i like like i've run into that uh, uh, one or two times mm -hmm. um so it's not a card that's great in the format you're not going to take it highly but just like if you have enough ways to enable it it turns into you know a b minus level two drop yeah and then where where does dragon fire go it goes like here right yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's absurd. <laughs> uh, are you kidding? Soul Seer or Dragonfire? I think Dragonfire, right? I agree. I, yeah. Really? I, mm. yeah. Just because of two mana? Two mana, yeah. And it, like, just going back to our conversation with Grasp, right? Like, well, Dragonfire already kills so much of the stuff. That right. Soul Seer. It's a, it's kind of, a, it's a bigger bump. Like, this kills like seventy five percent. This kills like ninety five percent. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's that's big. So that's that is total. a pretty big bump. Like, it's basically yeah, just like it doesn't kill the like. It doesn't kill some six and seven drops. Like yeah, I take I take it, I take it back also because I think Dragonfire and Shock are almost interchangeable, and I think Soul Seer. Like I would rather have a Soul Seer and a Shock than I would a Dragonfire and a Shock. All right, yeah, yeah. I think they're very close. They're very very close. Yeah. All right, 